Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to another brief Lumina Neo tutorial. This time we'll be focusing on the features of the newly released Studio Lite Edition. Also keep an eye out for several more AI powered tools that are coming this autumn. Anyway, let's jump into Lumina Neo now. All right, here we are in Lumina Neo, and this is the portrait that we'll be working with. I took this portrait of my niece a few years back, and we'll be using this for our test or demonstration. If you're in the catalog, you just double click on the image itself, and then you can hit the edit tab at the top, and then go down to the portrait section where the new Studio Light Edition will be found. So let's go there. Here you can see all the different options and customizations of the control panel. Studio Lite has a fairly straightforward user interface, which is quite self-explanatory and very intuitive, which you can expect from Luminar Neo. In the upper section, where you can see adjustments and masking, let's go back to the adjustments. You have three different options, the brightness, smoothness, and the light contrast. First, you have to move the slider in the lower section, in the lower panel. Let's move it to three, and you can see that it's already brightening the image. If you hover your mouse over the image, you can see where the light source is. You can move this light source around, and you can see how much the light changes. The 3D mapping detects the face of our subject and use it for inanimate objects as well. So you can see how the light changes across her face. Let's move it to the left side. And then here you can add additional light sources. Up to five light sources can be used and controlled individually. So let's do that. Here's the second light source. And uh, if we hover, you can see that it's over there, but nothing is happening because you have to adjust the amount slider again. So let's do that and move it around. And then maybe decrease it a little bit. All right. Uh, let's change the intensity on the first one as well, the primary light source. So we've added two. You can also right click and then hide this light source and then the natural light comes back. If you'd like to re-enable that light source that is hidden at the moment, you can just right click on this uh, button and then show again and you can see that the light source is back on. First, I'd like to talk to you about these three settings at the top, the brightness, smoothness and the light contrast. The brightness controls the overall brightness or luminosity across the entire frame. This is the default setting at zero. If we move it down, you can see that uh, the overall brightness of the image has been decreased. And if we move it all the way up to 100%, you can see that our subject is quite overexposed. So let's leave it at uh, the default zero with the smoothness slider. If you move it all the way up to 100, then it looks a little bit uh, more textured. Whereas if you push it all the way down to the left, it looks uh, more smooth. You can always just finally adjust it to your liking. I'm gonna move it a little bit towards the left to around 40. And uh, let's uh, just jump back to fit screen with the last control, which is called light contrast. If you move this slider all the way to 100, then you can see that the lights, the uh, artificial light sources that uh, we have added are um, the only available uh, light sources. The natural light source has virtually been diminished to zero to nothing. Um, and uh, let's just pick this light source and uh, move the slider up so you can see a little bit better this way uh, what parts of the image are being affected by these additional light sources. Let's just go back to the default setting. These global settings of the brightness, smoothness and light contrast will be applied to every single individual light source. In the lower panel where you can see the amount, the hue, saturation and depth sliders, you can control and customize each individual light source. We have already covered the amount slider. Let's go to the hue slider this time. And I'm gonna bring down the overall brightness a little bit so you guys can see what's happening a little bit easier. Let's move the hue towards the red and uh, increase the saturation a little bit. And uh, you can see that the light source on the right side is casting a red uh, color on her face. And then with the depth uh, slider, you can actually move the light source away if you push it towards the left or get it a little bit closer to her face and which will increase the overall 
intensity of the light source. Let's just leave it at around 60% and then move down the saturation a little bit. All right, let's customize our second light source and uh, just bring down the brightness once again so it becomes a little bit more apparent, more visible. Let's change the hue to uh, yellow in this instance and increase the saturation as well to 100% and the depth to 100% as well. And you can see that the color on the left side has changed considerably significantly as well. And as I said before, you can just hold on the uh, left um, button of your mouse and then move around the light source and just adjust to your liking. It looks really cool. Let's change the color to blue and uh, let's go back to the first one and I'm gonna change that one to uh, oh yeah maybe this uh, yellow and uh, decrease the light contrast a little bit and uh, increase the overall brightness this looks quite unnatural obviously but I just wanted to demonstrate and show you what you can do with this uh, studio light um, edition it is highly customizable and you can get really creative especially with portraits and there is a last option down at the bottom which reads uh, light customization let's enable this and uh, you can see that as default a pattern of strips is applied and here you can move it around as well so you can create some really cool effects let's decrease the overall brightness uh, maybe to that and um, let's find something that suits this image with the scale slider you can uh, decrease the size of this pattern and create uh, more strips or stripes and then if you push it all the way to the left then uh, obviously the size increases let's just leave it at this this looks pretty interesting pretty cool and uh, with the texture you can also add additional textures uh, such as greenery lace pattern palm leaf shutters starshine all sorts of things tree shadows you can play around with these and you can even add your own custom textures uh, let's try the water reflections and then remove the strips so what is going on here let's increase the amount so you can see that the water reflections have been applied that looks pretty interesting and what i love about it is that with the 3d mapping of your subject it applies it in a smart way uh, to your portrait it looks pretty natural let's decrease it a little bit and uh, change the hue to blue and this one down to about that and back to the light customization let's move it around a little bit so we've got multiple effects now applied we've got the um, uh, water reflection plus the strips at the same time if you click on this quick preview icon the little uh, eye icon you can go back and see the original image and then if you let it go then um, you get the final edit and uh, with the um, reset tool you can reset every single setting every single customized uh, effect that you have applied to this image let's use another light effect maybe the shutters and then change the scale yeah maybe that one is gonna be good decrease the overall brightness and increase the light contrast and let's change the saturation a little bit and then the depth to create a more uh, powerful effect that's more apparent and the amount to around 44 I want to change the hue to something like that that looks natural and then decrease the saturation a little bit that looks fairly natural to me all right let's uh, move the light source around i want her eye to be seen here let's decrease the light contrast a little bit and uh, the amount as well so this is the before image 
and this is after looks completely different and uh, kind of cool i suggest you try it out and especially if you uh, like portraits and do a lot of portrait photography this can be a pretty good tool to add to your repertoire to your editing repertoire and um, get your creative juices flowing and create some really amazing um, images uh, virtually in a couple of minutes thanks for watching this short demonstration if you have any questions leave a comment down below if you'd like to purchase luminar neo and try out this studio light i will leave links in the description also don't forget to use my coupon code pwrec photo during checkout which is going to get you an extra 10 percent off thanks again and catch you all very soon in the next one Thank you.